guys, it's Mommy Tang. What's that? What am I doing? <laughs> What's up, Tangy? Thank you, guys. Thank you for those of you. What is that? Oh. Went to holistic holiday at home. I talked about this a few videos ago, you know, thank you. But yeah, this event is coming up very soon, very shortly, and I'll be there. Remember, I told you, I'll be there, you know. I'll be sharing two recipes. One, crunchy Thai peanut quinoa by Fork Over Knives. It was amazing, you guys. And like I said, like, I've been vegan for a really long time, right? Well, not really long time, but like, seven years, I guess, something like that. And um, there's different stages of being vegan, I guess, like an ethical point of view and also the health view, you know? So it depends where you are. You could be like really ethical, but like, you're like, I don't care what I eat, you know? But you could be like really healthy, but you're like, oh, yeah, I do it for the health. So I guess they call it the plant-based vegan and the ethical vegan. There's so much, but like, I'm like somewhere in here between like, you know, going back and forth. You know, but if I want to be healthy on a vegan diet, I definitely do whole food based diet because that's like the easiest and you could have so much, you know, different, you know, um, variety, variety. <laughs> you guys know that I can't pronounce that. God, making me see it all the time. But anyways, you, you, there's so much room, you know, with that so you can play around. But anyway, so there are a lot of doctors and recipe builders and bodybuilders and on this holistic holiday at home um, event. So please check it out. I will link their website on the description. So please check it out. The second recipe that I'll be doing there is raw vegan kimchi. Yes, raw vegan kimchi, but the crazy part of it is that I'm not using Korean pepper flakes. I'll be using bell pepper to show you how I could make really easy, really fast vegan kimchi. So if you want to see that, you must go there. Link, you know, whatever. Okay, let's go. I really wanted to mention something, but I forgot. Also, today, recipe guys, pickled avocado mommy thing like real are you pickle avocado but this is so good it's like oh my goodness what was i doing with avocado all my life kind of good and the good thing about it is that if you make this it, i think it lasted me about like half a day only because i ate it all you know but let's say in a perfect world where like you're like yeah i'm gonna portion control blah 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 blah, blah. then it should last you about a good five days in the refrigerator right so let's get going with the recipe because it's just like so good okay so basically you're gonna do two things mix sauce cut avocado combine that's it avocado and some peppers Jalapeno peppers I have. I have some red peppers. If you can't find jalapeno or you don't like spicy stuff, then just use bell pepper, green and red. If you don't like bell pepper, just use avocado. Just avocado itself, it's okay. But we want color, you know, and we want like texture. You know, we want all that stuff, the goody stuff. So what we'll do, okay, you're going to get like, you know, like a wide bowl kind of, like I use this, Pyrex, whatever. You can use whatever jar, whatever you like. And you're going to cut the avocado, okay? Guys, do you guys know how to find a good avocado? Do you guys know that? Do you know how to do that? Like for the longest time, I was like, how do you find a good avocado? Well, there's a really simple trick to this, okay? I mean, obviously, <laughs> you don't wanna go into the store and start doing this to all these avocados, but you feel it kind of like this. And if they feel like not so hard, but like more like, like, like your nose bridge, I guess, then it's good. But also another trick that you could do is that see that little, that little <laughs> thing there? Like, I don't even know what you call that. You press that in gently, right? And if it goes in, that means it's good. Look, see, I'll show you, okay, look. See how it went right in? That means it's a good avocado. Now you don't wanna do this in a, 
in a grocery shop and you're like, oh, that's good. And they just kind of walk away. Like you don't want to do that, okay? Be good, be nice. You want to live like you have a good heart. I mean, you should have a good heart, but you know. So you're going to cut avocados. I'm going to be using three here, okay? You could use four, you could use five, you could use one, whatever you like. <sighs> Scoop the avocado. <laughs> the little seed that I pushed in. Mm -hmm. Guys, how are you? Are you good? Are you doing good? I hope so. Get the seed out. This is how I do it. I don't know how you guys do it. I just like, you know? Now you want to make sure that you don't like slam anything out other than the seed, okay? Isn't that so crazy how people could do so much different stuff with like vegetables and they all come out like, you know, amazingly different, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I think about stuff like that. I'm just like, am I weird? Okay, so you're going to cut them, you know, any shape you like. I usually cut them like so, okay? I mean, you could make it all pretty and nice and whatever you like, you know? I just do it like this. <laughs> it's usually for me. But if you want to do it for like your friends, I guess you could cut it like really nice. Okay, so you don't want to fill it all the way to the top, maybe to like, you know, the middle part of it, okay? Now, oh, my hands are so dirty, but I'm going to continue. Usually I would wash my hands, but I don't know what's... Okay, so you're going to slice the green pepper very thinly, okay? Like very thin, only because they're spicy and they're jalapeno and like you're going to eat them raw, basically. So you wanna cut them very thinly, like so. And toss it into the avocado, yes. And some red pepper for the color. Also thinly sliced. Now if you're using bell pepper, I guess you could cut it, you know, small, into small pieces, okay? Put it right in there. That's it, you guys. I'll be right back. I do have to wash my hands. Now, doesn't that look absolutely beautiful already? Look at the color, okay? But let's... Pickle them now. Remember, it's pickled avocado. In a bowl. Some soy sauce. You're going to make the sauce so it covers the avocado all the way, okay? So obviously, if you're gonna use so much soy sauce to do that, I mean, like, you have to dilute. Dilute? Dilute? <laughs> Basically make it lighter, okay? So you're going to put soy sauce, okay? You're going to add water. Yes, water. How much, Mommy Tang? One soy sauce, three water. <laughs> How did he even say that? The ratio is one, three. One cup of soy sauce, three cup of water, right? So if you're using half cup of soy sauce, then you would use one and a half cup of water. If you don't like sodium, then use more water. Just do you, okay? Guys, this is very important. Anything that you make, you don't want to just add everything and then taste later and say, what am I missing? No, 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 no. You have to like try. Mm, I need a little bit of more soy sauce, like that. You know, I need a little bit of more water, okay? Before you start adding everything in, I need a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit more. Let's see. In Korea, you know, like the old Korean shows, they used to make people, like, if they get, like, death penalty, they make them drink this black-looking thing, like this. The king has decided you're not worthy to be breathing in this earth. You must die. 
And the crazy part is, like, they bow to the king before they die, before they drink it, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's weird. I don't even know. But anyways, yeah. And it should be, like, salty but watery. Watery salty. Into that, garlic powder. Yep, let's season that up like crazy. Into that, you're going to put a little bit of young doof or mushroom seasoning, any seasoning. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but you know, it brings up the umami, you know? A little bit of young doof. It must try. Now, you could put lemon, lime, vinegar, apple cider vinegar, whatever you like, a little bit of vinegar, some sort of acid, you know, things to make it a little bit sour, you know, like sour, and like whatever. You don't have to, but I'm gonna put a little bit of lime because I had a lot of lime at the house. I don't wanna put too much, like I don't want to be sour, you know? Yes. But I'm gonna put all of it because I don't wanna waste my lime today. Ooh. What is going on here? What is going on here? Guys, now you're going to pour this over your avocado. Yes, you guys. You want to make sure that it covers the avocado, okay? Look. Are we done, Mommy Tang? What do you think? Do you think I'm done? Well, of course not. Crazy. Never, ever forget. Sesame seeds. Crazy. Protein, protein, protein. I don't want to say that anymore. I don't know. I don't say a lot of things anymore, you know? Anyway, that's it, you guys. Look at, look at this. Doesn't this look amazing? This is it. That's it. Now, you want to refrigerate this right away. And pickled avocado for you. That's it. And then keep it in the refrigerator for like five days. And just whenever you eat rice or something like that, whatever you noodles or whatever you need, you take it out. You could even use this soy sauce, right, to stir fry your noodles, your rice, whatever you like. Okay? Let's get on. To the mukbang. I don't know if I'll be eating all this avocado, but <laughs> I'm just plating it out nice for you guys, you know? Okay guys, so today I have the pickled avocado that we just made. I have some mixed white and brown rice. I have green tea, iced green tea, and I have some seaweed papers that I'll be eating. Toasted and salted seaweed paper. This is by far my favorite kimchi of all time. All time. Cucumber kimchi, mm. scallion kimchi, mm. napa kimchi, whatever it is. No, this beats it all, okay? This is called chonggak kimchi. <laughs> chonggak means, I think it means bachelor, all right? I don't even know why they call it bachelor. Maybe it means something else, but like maybe, <laughs> all I know is that in Korean, it means chonggak, okay? And like, I don't know, like bachelor kimchi, like, I don't know, you tell me why they call that. But anyway, so this is like young radish, right? I just made this about a week ago. I'll be eating that, oh my gosh, I can smell it already. Oh, it smells wonderful. Let's try, let's try. Okay, so I can't double dip that because I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be able to eat that. So let's just kind of do this. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. First bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, guys.
I can't describe it. Mm. Mm. This pepper is amazing. My goodness. Like 30 utensils with me. <gasps> Guys. Spicy. Jalapeno spicy. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. Are you ready for the kimchi too? <laughs> oh. Ooh. This chungga kimchi, young radish kimchi, you have to eat with your hands, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All you need is rice. Really. Mix with your rice. <laughs> Can this get any better? I don't know. Oh my God. All right. I saw this one mukbanger do this. I always want to try it, okay? Okay, so what she does. Well, she doesn't do it with this, but this is what I'm gonna do. I need an avocado in there. Okay. And. Right, oh, don't forget the red peppers. And get this all prepped up to go. Right. Oh, and then I always wanted to try. I don't know if it's gonna work, but let's see. It was really messy, but my God, it's so good. <sighs> Have, do you guys know any narcissist? Do you know what that is? Look it up on, on, on Google, okay? Narcissist. Are those people that don't have sympathy, empathy for anybody but themselves? They just like themselves. 
They don't care about anybody. And they just like, it's all about me, 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 all about me, right? The crazy thing about narcissists is that they live off from torturing you to think that you're nobody, you're nothing, right? And make them think that you're wrong all the time. Meanwhile, you're not wrong. It's not you, right? It's them really. But they have this way of making you feel like it's you and then they make you feel crap. Narcissists do that, right? And there are a lot of people I talk about narcissists like all the time, but this could come as your spouse, like a husband or wife could like seriously like be a narcissist and like always make you depressed. Sometimes your parents could be a narcissist, your teacher, your boss, even like your coworkers, your kids. They come in all different forms and they could be a narcissist because they make you like you're not worth it. You're like, it's like saying like you're stupid and they feel stupid and they, they feel good, you know? Crazy, right? There are people out there like that. And I read so much about this. I found out what that was like four or five years ago. And so I've researched and a lot, looked a lot and you know, it's just like, you know, cause there are people, narcissists around you everywhere. And like, okay, let me give you an example, right? This is a good example to see if this is you, the victim, okay? Okay, so pretend you're four years old, like you're five or four or five years old, okay? Or no, not four or five, you're like, yeah, you pretend like you're Pepe's age, like, like five or six, something like that, right? And you can't really do things properly. At, at that age, you could do it, but I mean, you can't do things properly. You'll like, even like with Beppy, like if I give her a heavy like jar of like juice and try to ask her to pour me, you know, juice, she's gonna spill it everywhere, you know? You, it's expected of her. And if you ask her to do it properly, like, like you know, like you're in an expensive restaurant, then there's something wrong with you, you know? But pretend you're like Beppy's age, right? Now you see your dad, I'm gonna say, dad is a narcissist okay dad is mowing the lawn outside and it's hot it's really hot day outside he's sweating you see your dad out the window and he's sweating he's like mowing the lawn right so you think like hey i want to do something nice for my dad right so you go to the refrigerator you get you know iced tea there's like i know ice, iced tea and juice and like lemonade and beer i don't know there's all these drinks right so you decide to pick lemonade because or iced tea because you like lemonade uh, iced tea right so you get an iced tea you're like okay i'm gonna put some ice in there so you you know you like you know six years old okay so you put a chair and you go through all this effort and like you're happy that your dad's gonna love it so you put like you know, ice, you know, and stuff like that. And then like, you know, and you spill some here, you spill some there, whatever. And then you like go outside, you bring it outside and you're like, daddy, daddy, I brought you some iced tea, right? Normal father would be like, oh honey, this is so sweet of you. I love you. You shouldn't have done that. Thank you. And he'll be like, oh, it's so refreshing. I love you. Thank you. That's the proper, that's the normal dad. Now narcissist dad would be like, who told you to come outside? You know? And you know I don't drink iced tea. I only drink beer or like water or like, you know, whatever, right? And how'd you get this ice? Did you put your hand inside the ice, you know, like ice cubes or whatever? Did you even clean your hands after this? Who told you to bring me ice? Why would you waste something? This is a waste. And they all start screaming at her, right? So she's thinking like, wait, yeah. Why did I do that? I'm so stupid. I'm so dumb. I'm like so dumb. Right? And this is what narcissists do. So she turns around, the baby turns around. Well, you turn around and you're like, yeah, I am the bad one. I mean, I should have washed my hands and you know, I should have gotten beer. I knew he didn't like iced tea. I guess I remember that I'm a bad person. And then you walk around thinking that you're bad. That's what narcissists do to you, but you're not bad. This, this is a crazy, that's a craziness. And the narcissist while doing it, they don't feel bad. They think that this is normal. They're like, <laughs> they should have known better. They should have known me better. You know, that's what narcissists do. Isn't that crazy? Guys, there's only one solution to get out of a, a narcissist relationship. I mean, I guess if you're like seven years old and your parents are narcissists, there's nothing you could do till you get like 16, 17. 
I think that's why the government, the law, said, yeah, you could get out. If your parents are crazy, you could you could live alone when you turn 80. Like, they give you that, a specific age, you know, but... The only thing that you could do is, one, just cope with it till you die. It's just, no, yeah, like, ignore it. Basically, when, the, when you give them iced tea and the father goes crazy, just like, okay, don't drink it. Just kind of pour it out and just leave. And like, eh, that's one way of handling it. Another way, right, is to run. That's right, run. Because you know why? They say narcissists will never change. You know? They'll just... They won't feel good unless you feel bad. Yeah. And this is why sometimes if you're dating a narcissist, you feel bad all the time. Why didn't you call me? What do you mean? I was so worried about you till 2 o'clock, 3 a.m. You know, you didn't pick up the phone. I was so worried. You're so stupid. You know? Like, you're stupid. And you're thinking, like, wait a minute, am I stupid? Like that. And next time, we say, I'm sorry. The reason I couldn't call is because my phone, I lost my phone. Blah, blah, blah. I have some sort of excuse, a like legit excuse, you know? What can I do for you? I, I'll make it up to you, sweetie. I'm sorry. Those are the real, you know? Anybody says, you're stupid. You're dumb. Anybody that curses you out, pretty much they're all narcissists, okay? I don't know. There's a lot more to say about that. A lot more, but I'm just going to go till this much today because... I have a lot of things to do, and I finish my rice. When my rice is done, my mukbang is done, right? Guys, for real, try this recipe out, okay? It's amazing, like I said. And with the sauce, save, well, not this one, but save the sauce, and you could make it like stir fry it or noodles and stuff like that. You could, there's like, you could use it in a dumpling, you know, like dipping sauce, whatever. It's endless. Don't be a victim, you guys. No, okay? First step to figure out narcissist is to know the narcissist and realize, yeah, they are narcissists. I don't know. I'll see you later, okay? Don't forget to check out the website, too. I mean, don't forget to check out the link, okay? But I'll see you later. Oh my god, do I drink this or what? I can't waste it.